I've never seen a candidate run for an office and basically campaign for another candidate in the same race. There is a guy that we have been waiting for for a long time who is a little bit better than the other guys, who's a little bit younger and who has a, bit, a little bit of a better track record, who let us out of COVID and all of that stuff. And his name is Ron DeSantis and he is the governor of Florida. He is America's governor. Um, and I think he is the best choice. So now let's talk about him for a little bit. First off, over the weekend, you know, he doesn't get into the drama game, right? If you think about all the debates, he just doesn't, he, he barely got attacked in any of the debates because they don't have much to cut him on and he doesn't really attack back people. You know, there were times when Vivek and Nikki screaming at each other and DeSantis is going, you know, what, what's the point of all of this? Uh, but he was asked yesterday, <clears throat> he was asked about uh, this Trump Vivek drama and here's how he responded. You know, I noticed that they, um, that, that he threw, um, um, the, oh, the Vivek, back, yeah. Yeah, 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 he threw him under the bus. Um, you know, it's like, I've never seen a candidate run for an office and basically campaign for another candidate in the same race before, and that's what's happened. But the minute he wasn't useful, you know, they, 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 they dropped the hammer on it. So that's just kind of the way, way they are. But look, we are going to go forward as a party. We can go forward in a way that's focused on people's issues, that's focused on a great agenda for America, or we can go forward uh, with Trump, which will be focused, the 2024 election, on legal issues, on criminal trials, on convictions, on, on all these things with January 6th. And that gives the Democrats um, a huge advantage uh, going forward. And I don't think that we want to do that. Why would we want to give them any advantage? All right, the reason I wanted to show you that clip is, as I said, he doesn't really get involved into the drama. He quickly makes a comment there, and, it, and it's just true, right? Like, Trump saw Vivek as useful. You're gonna be my guy at the debates that I'm not gonna show up to, and you're gonna attack everybody and say we should always be nice and then also dump on everybody, and you're gonna do all that. And then when push got to shove, as I said, when we got to the 11th hour, now, now Trump is going after Vivek. Okay, fine. But the real point of, of showing you that clip is what DeSantis said after which is that there is a chance to not have all of this drama going forward, right? And clearly he's the candidate to do that. By the way, the two guys that he's standing in between there, Thomas Massey uh, from Kentucky and Chip Roy from Texas, Massey is by far, by far, not even close, the most libertarian, liberty-minded uh, congressional member of Congress in the entire United States government, and Chip Roy, from Texas has the number one most conservative voting record. So those guys are putting their butts on the line. Nobody can question, although I guess some of the Trumpkins do, whether they, they are pro-America or America first or for MAGA or anything else. But what you have right there are three decent civil servants uh, fighting together at the same time.